All right, ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Welcome to Dope Event on Dope TV, and this is your number one TV god, Richard Bolakale on Not Deco RBO for short, and we are live at the Lagos Theatre Festival 2018. Yes, this is tagged theatre in an unconventional space ladies and gentlemen it promises to be lit because we can see everything if we go through the brochure you can see that a lot of programs are actually lined up for us and we're going to be enjoying back to back don't go anywhere i'm going to be talking to all your favorite celebrities that you've been seeing on screen and on stage don't move a muscle good evening maha how are you doing Ma? good evening wow you're looking so brilliant every time i see you thank you <laughs> Thanks. Right, so Ma, tell me ltf 2018 how do you feel right now i'm super excited um, Kenneth and the team and the board, they've done a brilliant job. For those of us who know where we started from, look at the, the crowd, even at the opening ceremony. This is incredible. Um, and I know that we have a lot more um, plays, directors, new directors, new producers. So it's really, it's fantastic. And I can just imagine in 10 years, 15 years, what this will become. I'm really excited. I've seen the program and I'm looking forward to seeing some shows. There's a show called Esther's Revenge in which you have to book and only nine of you can watch it at the same can watch it at once. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yes. Right, so I, will, I would like to ask, um, how has Lagos actually impacted your career so far? Tell me, how has Lagos helped you so far? How has Lagos helped me so far? Oh my gosh. Um, I moved to Lagos uh, 11 years ago now and the energy the sharpness, the hustle, everything has changed my thinking. I've met some amazing people. I've grown in my career. I've done some amazing projects like Lagos Theatre Festival. You know, there are very few places in the world where you can start a festival and grow it to the point where Lagos Theatre Festival has grown. It's all because it's Lagos. I doubt that there's, there's very few places in the world where you could have done this. So Lagos has given me so much, actually. So let's talk about LTF. Um, how do you feel about LTF 2018? I'm very proud of LTF. I've been, I'm pr I've been proud of it for the last five years that I've been on it. So, I mean, it's, I'm just excited and happy for what's going to happen this year. But this has opened it up. If you even look at the brochure, you see that it's happening in um, Bariga, it's happening in, at the Banana Island, it's happening in Ekpe, it's happening in Korodu. So it means that the performances you know, are opening up and the theatre is getting a lot of the kind of recognition that we've always sought out for. So, I'm excited um, about LTF. And again, I make bold to say that um, um, LTF and British Council should look beyond private production companies and go into associations, you know, who are also responsible about performers being together. With that, you'll be able to have all encompassing. Like, I mean, I look through the whole, I'm, I can't find a lot of the practitioners here because they, it didn't run through the association. I, I think so. I, I probably got an invite because, yeah, maybe for me. I mean, there are a lot of people who are not known by, via their faces, but then they do, they do a lot of work. Um, I don't really have like the, the opening lead today. I don't know that name anywhere, but that performance is a world class performance that can be taken anywhere. So she doesn't have to be a known face to get invitation, all right? It's just the content that matters, and then we'll take it away. So I'm excited, um, and I'm also looking forward to LTF doing a lot more. So as theatre, stage play, has he influenced screen acting, like or being um, a screen actor? Well, I mean, if you look at most films, how most film actors started in, in, on the stage, and many actors want to go back to the stage. They, you know, because stage acting is immediate, film acting is a lot of waiting around. It's a very different form of acting. So I think that the film acting depends on stage acting. So let's think about LTF20. How do, you, how do you feel being in Nigeria for this festival right now? This is my first time at LTF. It's my first time in Lagos, wow. um, and so I'm really, I'm really enjoying myself. I think everybody who works with the festival has just been really helpful, uh, taking me everywhere, showing me around, making sure that I'm very comfortable with things, and then also just the chance to meet the other directors, producers, performers is really exciting. And especially because we're at the beginning, we're not even <laughs> in the middle of the festival, so there's a lot more to come. All right, so let's talk about stage and screen right now. Okay. What's the difference to you? Uh, for me, I'm more of a stage person. Okay. I love the screen. I love what, what it can do. There's so much flexibility. But then I like the stage more because uh, it gives me this rawness mm -hmm. that, yes, there's no safety net <laughs> on like a screen you can <laughs> edit and all that. Yes, it's, there's this rawness that is unfiltered that you can just get live between the audience and the performer. And screen cannot give me that. 
I'm not talking down on screen. I also love screen for what it can do. It's actually a much more, um, it has much wider reach digitally. As a yeah. So it's, it's very, very handy tool to have in getting a message across. Like we're having a message against abuse. So we have a, 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 an ambition to go to screen also very soon. Hopefully this year we're going to TV with Poetry Alive. But for me, I still yeah. fancy oh, stage. stage. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a tricky one. Um, for me, I think when I define myself as a storyteller, one of the lovely things is that you can dip in and out of characters, and so it's set for stage. It's very difficult. I find it difficult to do on screen, and I think that when you are then become an actor and it's uh, then you take on the role of a character for a considerable period of time, and that's you can transfer more from stage to screen. So. Let's talk about the, um, the theatre festival. How has it actually upped the no Nollywood industry in Nigeria? Well, I'm not, well um, mm. first of all, I think what it has done is that it's given a space, a safe space, for young people, especially a lot of young people, to express their creativity. Now, does that impact on Nollywood? I believe so. Um, you heard the young man who, who was interviewed earlier, you know, on one of the videos. He said he, it has made him um, a bit more intellectual in what he does. Now, intellectual does, doesn't mean it has to be highbrow, but it just means that you, things become logical. I think both, they feed off each other. It's a symbiotic relationship. So, um, the movie theater normally gets actors from theater and theater, theater practitioners also, a lot of them go into movies. So it sort of like feeds off each other. How has theater helped Nollywood? I think, so first of all, I think that I know that two totally separate things, right? There's some overlaps, but I think that we need to treat theater in its own merits. It's not an accessory to something else. It's something that in itself is valuable, is, is valuable in terms of both economic and non-economic value, right? In economic terms, the West End in London, for example, or Broadway, you know, like there, there's sectors, theatre and performing arts sectors that have transformed the economies of cities that we know and contributed to the economies of cities.